Hello and welcome to the Easy Solution Systems tutorial videos. I'm Jesse Brown and today we'll be going through setting up networking and stations in Retail Man. Right, so to begin for this, you'll need to use Windows Professional in order to set up your networking in order for this to work. So what we need to do is create a server machine or a server computer and then the station computers. So what we're going to do is go to the server computer and we're going to go to settings, network and internet, and we're going to choose the ethernet setting and we're going to click network 5. Here you can see make this PC discoverable, we want to turn this on. You may also find that um, there will be a option that says public and private um, and default will be on public. We actually want to choose private for that but for this one um, we don't have that option but you may. We're going to go back we're going to choose status then we're going to go to sharing options here you can see under private it says private current profile we're going to choose turn on network discovery and turn on automatic setup of network connected devices we're going to turn on file and printer sharing we're going to leave as recommended and then we're going to go down to all networks then we're going to choose turn on sharing to anyone with network access the first option you can leave file sharing connections as default that's fine we use 28 bit and then password protection for this one I'm going to turn it off but you may want to turn it on and save settings next we're going to go into this PC we're going to right click this PC and choose properties we're going to choose advanced system settings we're going to go to computer name we're going to choose change and here you can see I've chosen AU1 server this is the PC name or server name that appears in the networking section so you can choose whatever you would like for that we're going to save that and we're going to choose remote we're going to choose allow remote connections to the computer and OK from here you need to do the exact same thing for your workstation computer um, for any of this to work so you just have to repeat the steps that have been done there on the workstation computer except for when you are naming your computer for the workstation computer, you will need to have a different name to the server name. After you've set up the workstation network, what we need to do is allow the workstation to see the C drive. So we're going to go to this PC and then we're going to right click the local C drive, we're going to choose properties, sharing, an advanced sharing share this folder then we're going to choose permissions and we're going to choose full control and that is set to everyone you can choose to do individuals who can access that if you would like to but for this case um, all workstations can access this okay and close now we're going to go to the workstation computer we're going to go into Explorer. We're going to choose Network. And we're going to choose the server computer. As you can see here, the C folder and the users are available. We want to go into C. We're going to choose RMAN. And to find the RMAN.exe, you will need to sort by type. This will be the easiest way to find it. We're going to right click RMAN. We're going to choose send to and we're going to do desktop. Here this means that the workstation is now opening Retail Man directly from the server. This is what we want. So now we're going to right click Retail Man, 
properties, choose advanced and tick run as administrator. The reason for this is that if we choose run as administrator, it will allow us to access this as sometimes it may not allow you to open the file. Um, so this is the best way to do that. I'm going to click OK and OK. Now we're going to open the shortcut. We're going to choose OK. Notice that this is a trial version. That's OK. This still works, so you can try it out for yourself. But understand that you will need to buy a serial key that has multiple workstations on it. Otherwise, you will not be able to do multiple stations in Retail Man. Finally, all you do is choose the second option under Oz Server and choose Select. As you can notice here, you are currently on Station 2 of 2. We hope this video has been helpful and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.